Hello, my name is Ruth Charles, the creator of the Focal Dystonia Cure Method and author of the book, The Focal Dystonia Cure. I'm going to talk you through the third of the exercises that you'll find in the book. Uh, there are previous videos of the other two exercises. My aim is to just to guide you through the exercises, the exercise, so you can follow it using my voice rather than needing to read, follow it reading the book. Um, and that means you can let go more into the exercise. I used to really encourage you, if you wish to, to record your own voice, working yourself through the exercise. That's a really great idea, and if you fancy doing that, then, then and that works well for you, then please go ahead and do it that way. Uh, you may want to use the bilateral sounds, and if you do so, just put them on really, really quietly, uh, just so that they're sort of like a, a faintly audible, like background sound. Okay, so I'm going to guide you through the exercise. Then I'm actually going to go back and read a bit of an excerpt from the book uh, that comes just before the exercise, just to remind you why this state, this kindness state, is so important in healing your brain and healing your focal dystonia. So please excuse me, I'll be looking down as I read from the book. Kindness state exercise. You can move on to this exercise, even if you haven't mastered the zero state exercise. If you have time, you can do both of them each day. If your time is more limited, alternate them, doing one of them today, the other one tomorrow, and then going back to the first one the next day, and so on. If you're working with a specialist therapist to heal the activation that the zero state exercise makes the zero state exercise difficult for you, you will most likely to be able to begin this exercise before even starting the zero state exercise. Talk it through with your therapist. On many occasions, the kindness state exercise helps you heal and more readily begin the zero state exercise. You will need around 15 minutes where you can sit in a comfortable and peaceful place knowing you won't be disturbed. Sit comfortably, and if you wish to, turn on the bilateral sound. One, close your eyes and spend some time to attune into and inhabit your physical body. You will likely find this to have become relatively easy because of your practice with the attunement repair exercise. As you do this, be aware of your experience, just the way it is. Welcome and feel into whatever you find, all that is comfortable and well, and at the same time, all that is uncomfortable and lacking wellness. All is welcome here. Every part has something important to communicate to you and deserves your respect and care. Two, when you feel ready to move on, and if, if you have become sufficiently adept at the zero state, drop into your centre of gravity and then bring your mind into the central vertical space.
sit with this experience, tune in deeply into it. Do so for the time that feels right for you. Do take your time as you let go of that compulsive feeling of wanting to rush to the next step. Allow yourself the luxury of feeling that you have all the time and space in the world. If you're not yet skilled enough with the zero state exercise, skip this step and go straight to the next one. Three, when you feel ready, connect to a situation or memory that invoked the feeling of kindness in you. Perhaps it was a time you helped a friend in need, or when you spent time with a small child. Perhaps you had rescued an injured or frightened animal, or maybe it was when you took care of someone who was ill or who was going through a difficult and painful experience. We often feel at our kindest when we can support or help someone who is very vulnerable. Choose a moment of kindness, seeing what you saw, hearing what you heard, and feeling the kindness within you. Four, attune deeply into what that kindness felt like on the inside. How did it physically feel in your body? And where did you notice it most? Take plenty of time to feel into this. Use all your interoceptive sensitivity to feel as deeply as you can into all the subtle details of this experience. You may find that it has a certain texture or colour or you may find that it has a different sense of inner speed and space than you normally feel. Five, when you are ready, 
Maintain this depth of connection to the physical experience of kindness. And at the same time, become aware also of how it feels emotionally and mentally. Six, when you feel as deeply connected as possible to this physical, mental and emotional experience of kindness, slowly open your eyes. As you continue to feel deeply into it, you will find that they are looking in a particular place to enable you to maintain this connection. Keep your eyes looking at this spot as you continue to feel deeply into your direct experience of kindness. Stay here all the time you wish, really savouring the details of this experience and letting them spread through your whole body. Seven, when you feel ready to close, gradually become aware of the sounds that are around you. Allow your eyes to become more aware of the room surrounding you and use all your senses to connect back to the outer world until you find yourself in the balance of continuing to feel into your inner kindness. At the same time, be fully back into the here and now in the external world that surrounds you. Now you're ready to continue with your day. Most people sense 
feel this sense of kindness in their chest as warmth and softness. They feel how their heart opens and expands. They experience their mind becoming soft and sweet. As you practice this exercise over the days and weeks, you will find that the experience deepens and expands into your body until it feels like every cell and molecule of your being becomes filled with kindness. In the same way as with the zero state exercise, you'll experience the kindness state as a state of being. It will form into a part of your central identity from where the world no longer feels hostile. You may realize how much beauty, warmth and holding you are surrounded by and how you had been filtering them out and had been blind to experiencing them. In this state of being, you feel safe and held in life and you find the joy of a deep connection to the people, nature and the world around you. Kindness is the key. Over recent years, there have been many important studies on the positive effect of kindness meditations and neuroplasticity. In 2008, a study by the University of Wisconsin-Madison published on March 25th in the Public Library of Science 1, using fMRI scans, demonstrated significant changes in the brain in people who had meditated for at least 10,000 hours on loving-kindness. This study showed dramatic positive changes in the limbic system, just in the areas that are damaged by adverse events. These are key areas that enable you to be attuned to yourself and others in regulating the nervous system, in creating homeostasis, in motor control and in increasing interoceptive sensitivity. The 2013 study by Koch et al. published in the Psychological Science Journal on July the 1st showed the connection between meditation on loving-kindness and increased self-regulation and emotional well-being through the polyvagal system. This is the system that has been shown to govern whether our nervous system is in safe or survival mode. Mm. A study by Kearney et al. published in the Journal of Traumatic Stress, August 26, 2013, showed how a 12-week program of loving-kindness significantly reduced the effects of adverse events in the participants. In 2011, Hoffman, Grossman and Hinton, in the Clinical Psychology Review of November 2011, and in 2015, Hutchison, Sepala and Gross, in the Cognitive, Affective and Behavioural Neuroscience, March 15, 2015, demonstrated that meditating on loving-kindness increased grey matter in the areas of the brain related to emotional regulation. I could continue, but I think that there are enough studies to demonstrate that the development of kindness is central to, the repair, central to repair the alterations in the brain that your adverse experiences have created and to enable you to regulate your nervous system and bring it out of survival and into safety. I am fully supportive of you exploring loving-kindness meditation groups and teachers in the area where you live. At the same time, I've just given you a brain spotting exercise which will efficiently and swiftly develop and strengthen the areas in your brain that are cited in the above studies. This means that, f that if you follow this exercise, you will rapidly and effectively create the same neuroplastic and neurogenesis effect that these studies describe. This exercise is central to the journey we are taking to completely resolve the symptoms of focal dystonia 
that you are experiencing. Thank you for watching.